Hi Crystal Souls, happy day. I hope you're doing amazing. Today I'm coming with an epica card reading and this one is about Is Love in the Air? As always to pick your group, I highly suggest you to press pause, meditate and use your intuition to pick the card. You can of course use a pendulum for this step. And when you are ready, you can find a timestamp in the comments down below. I also want to share that I have a spiritual shop now where you can find well, some of these decks, I'm using them on my reading today and honestly, I really, really love them because the designs are pretty cool and yeah, I mean, I really love them and I connect pretty well with this. And I also love this Oracle card because I think it has layer to the reading and really add meaning to it. So if you are interested, you can find a link in the description down below. Same for your personal reading if you are interested to book one with me. And I wanted to thank all of you for your support and amazing comments all the time because yeah, our family is growing so much and I think we almost are 20k or something and it's crazy to me, it's it's amazing, unbelievable, really. So thank you so much for being a part of this family and if you are not, please make sure to subscribe. Alright, it's time for your reading now, so let's do it! So here's the first group with the Amethyst, the second group with the Jasper and the third group with the Labradorite. Let's start with the first one. So for the overall energy, you will have two cards. One is the Four of Swords, and the second one is the Queen of Pentacles. This one is about rest, solitude, meditation, relaxation, and retreat. I believe a lot of you are taking some time alone to kind of reflect and recharge, because I believe that this person really needs to, you know, heal herself in a way. Because I see that there's a lot of um, source planted on her head and energy and this for me represent her aura or energetic body and this is um, for me a symbol that you have been hurt in the past you have been around people that were toxic not just in your relationship but it can be your friends or family around you and so you kind of need time to love yourself you need time to heal yourself and move on from this energy and create your own and believe in yourself you know create your self-worth and understand that you are beautiful like the flower all around you you know they they support your beauty in a way they also support your growth it's time for you to blossom open up and show your true essence your true beauty to the world because i'm seeing that you kind of explode your energy is exploding so i think this card is telling you you need some time alone you need to meditate you need to love yourself reconstruct yourself in order for you to find someone that is going to love you fully, that is going to see your beauty and your essence because I believe you want a relationship that is meaningful, not something that is going to last a few days and then it's over. I believe you want a partner that you can, you know, be with and feel complete with. And this is why you need some time to build yourself before actually welcoming someone. So yes, love is in the air, this is for sure because you will incarnate the queen, but I believe that it's time for you to take some time for yourself love yourself fully and then the universe will send you the right person but all you need to really care about all you need to focus on right now is yourself your own self-love your own value your worth you know love yourself fully enough in order for you to attract someone that is going to love you fully as well as you can see she's cuddling the sword and this for me symbolizes that you will need to take care of yourself you know cuddle yourself love yourself and really accept yourself the way you are and also work on you yourself to be your best version I'm also seeing the dove flying, so this is going to bring you peace. You know, the way you will love yourself, the way you will accept yourself is going to offer you this, this very peaceful atmosphere. You are going to feel at ease with who you are and this is why you are going to uh, welcome someone that is going to be peaceful with you, that is going to recognize you and take care of you as well because I believe you really want to be around people that are caring just like you. This queen is represented as the mother earth, homily, nurturing and dependable. This is someone who is very sensual as well and you know self-sufficient because she has money she can make her own money she is able to grow and see beauty because i'm seeing the flower and also the nature growing all around you and she's seeking for someone she can trust because the dog represents someone that is faithful fidelity so someone that will stay with you um your lifetime you know you want someone that is fair to you that is going to be um able to love you fully and that you can trust this is a big and important point, I believe, for you. You really want someone you can trust. And maybe this is because in the past you have been with people that were cheating on you. 
because I believe you've, you've been hurt by people with the swords planted on your aura energy in your head. So I believe this kind of um, made you really sensitive to it. Uh, you know, you cannot bear people cheating on, on others or maybe you was in unfaithful relationships before and so it created a trauma and this is why it's you know close to your mind so it's still there it's still kind of a traumatic thing and maybe it's something you need to actually work on and heal yourself in order for you to not attract something like this because you know when you do not learn your lesson the universe is going to challenge you with the same one so you need to be okay with this even though it's difficult you need to forgive this person you need to forgive yourself for you know not having seen or sense that you was cheating on it's okay this made you grow into a beautiful person and this is all that that really matters so yeah try to heal yourself try to be acceptant uh, try to move on from this energy and tell the universe in a way I am ready for something that is going to be beautiful and this is something that will be faithful this is for sure and something that will grow and be grounded because i am seeing the mountains on the background and growth is all around you you incarnate this one and this can be growth of abundance so money you are going to be very stable and this is why it's like um you will love yourself enough that you won't be needy of anyone you will feel self-sufficient and this is why you are able to love someone fully and welcome someone only if this person is ready to love you completely but you can see the roses here so i believe you are ready for some romance you're ready for growth you're ready to give your bouquet or receive a bouquet meaning you are ready to welcome love welcome someone that will bring growth in your life as well so this is wonderful i believe this is something um you know that will lead to a relationship but now it's time for you to work on yourself this is super important because the overall energy is all about it it's all about being self-sufficient it's all about loving yourself enough and healing from the past in order for you to manifest something that will align with what you dream of and as i said that you are going to find your partner because I have the Sun card here and this to me symbolizes the Divine Masculine. You know, this one coming to you, but I'm also seeing this one represented as the Angel. So I believe this will be a Divine Union. This will be a soulmate or Twin Flame even, if you are on this Twin Flame journey. But I believe this is someone that will be important and that will shine in your life and you'll be ready to welcome because you can feel that this energy is powerful just like you. So you guys' essences are going to kind of match with each other and so you can be happy with each other because this one is about joy success energy warmth and optimism this is beautiful this is a very bright and wonderful energy this is something very pure in a way and i believe you are supported because i'm seeing some fairies i'm seeing people you know flying all around you i mean birds here but this kind of symbolizes that people are going to support um, this union, this support this person or feel inspired about this person. So maybe the one that is going to come is going to feel like this will be someone who is going to be very attractive. You are going to feel very um, magnetic to this person because this person has something that is quite rare and authentic and unique and this is something you really, really love. So I believe the one that will come in your life and I think this will be in a very magical way because this is a very powerful um, energy here. Um, I think you will be very attracted about this person and very and very attached to this one. And I think this is from the very beginning. It, it will feel like a, a crush. It will be kind of love at first sight with this person. This is what I'm getting here. Uh, I also believe that your angels, the universe, are working on this union. Because I am seeing this person as the angel. Or maybe this is a person that will be, you know, very eye spirited or, you know, shining so bright that you feel like, wow, this is like an angel coming in my life and I cannot believe it. But you manifested this and this is because you took the time to work on yourself. So it's time to work on yourself, accept yourself, love yourself. And this is the type of person you are going to welcome. Of course, if you are a man, this can be uh, the feminine energy instead. Just take what resonates with you because this is a general reading. The Devil card. This one is about obsession, temptation, excess, self-destructive desires. I think this is pretty much for the past. Or something some of you are still experiencing because I feel like some of you are still locked with someone because you can see this person being tied up 
to a locket. So it's like you are condensed in a relationship and you feel like you cannot really escape this person. Even though this person is toxic because this person incarnates the devil. I believe a lot of you are in karmic relationships because you felt in the beginning that, oh, this person is my mirror, this person is, is the perfect match. And then you recognize this person is just here to teach you awful lessons. This person was hiding his true side and now you are seeing the demon, the devil inside this person but it's time for you to free yourself it's time for you to move on from this energy and i believe some of you are already moving on from this i'm also seeing people kind of you know reaching for for something from the straven maybe it's like reaching for freedom reaching for help maybe you need to talk to your friends or family that this relationship is very toxic for you and making you very very sad and depressed in a way and I think it's time for you to move on what you can see here it's very small but I'm going to describe it it's a mask and in this mask there is um, a key shining it's like showing you the freedom it's showing you a way to escape this it's time for you to see it because I'm seeing you kind of um, you know looking at your own despair and not really looking for a way out but it's time for you to to free yourself from this this is very toxic and this person is kind of you know this person has stole your heart in a way and it's probably difficult for you to move on it and maybe you are thinking nobody's going to love me the way he is even though he is very mean to me sometimes or very judgy or he wants me to be a different person and it's difficult for me to be this is not love okay my friend, you need to understand, if someone is wanting you to be a different version, it's because they do not love you for the way you are. And you are supposed to be with someone that is like this. You are supposed to be with someone who is going to support your every little flaws, even. But your entire person, you know, someone that will be okay with who you are. Of course you can improve in relationships. I'm not saying you should always be the same type of person and not actually grow as a person. But I believe when it's too much, when it's toxic, when it makes you kind of question yourself because you are tr you are transforming yourself too much that you cannot even, you know, recognize yourself in the mirror. This is toxic. This is toxic and you need to free yourself from this because you just have someone that is going to love you for who you are. I mean, your true essence, your true values, you shouldn't change them because this is something you love. If you change something inside you that you love, this isn't right. Not for you and not for this person because this person needs someone else. If he isn't satisfied with who you are and you need to recognize this in order for you to free yourself from this relationship and in order for you to welcome someone that is going to be the sun, someone that will recognize your essence, see your beauty and welcome you on this loving journey. But of course, I believe that some of you are already free from this, you know, and it's funny because I'm seeing the, the moon energy. So I believe most of you are uh, locked in a relationship by your masculine. So you are the feminine and it's like this person is even condensing your femininity. This is crazy. Yeah, you guys really need to move on from this, really. It's too toxic. It's not making you grow as a person and you really deserve someone that is going to love you. The Ten of Cups. Isn't it beautiful? This is just pure. And I am so happy that this card popped up because I believe you was experiencing this, this karmic relationship in order for you to awaken even. And this Four of Swords can be, you know, awakening spiritually. And so you recognize your true self and what is true love. And you are going to lead yourself towards that because this is what you deserve. And this is what you will attract because this one is about... Um, family, harmony, stability and happiness, this can also be marriage. And I'm seeing this couple, you know, being one. I believe this is twin flame or soulmate energy because the energy is so pure. You guys are meant to be with each other. This will be a very loving relationship. And you can see that the, the fishes all around you will, will swim in harmony. So of course this will be a love that is harmonious. You are going to grow with this person. You are going to shine with this person. I mean, you could see this energy and now the sun energy and then you two kind of connect so well that you create one energy together. It's like your auras will, will shine as one or your energy will shine as one. And I think this is because the two of you are soulmates or twin flame. And I believe a lot of you are twin flames because the two of you actually incarnate one soul because um, twin flames are actually 
you know, one soul that was split in two. Some people it's more than this, but I believe this is more two for the majority. And so you were split in two, but in, in reality you are just one. And this is why I believe this energy is very pure, because I believe the two of you kind of connect together and recognize you are one. You are meant to be with this person because, yeah, you two complete each other. Really, and I believe you are already connected in a spiritual world, and this is why the angels are going to kind of make a way to open the path for you two to be with each other in this lifetime. This is not for everyone, but people that are on this twin flame journey, I believe there is I believe there is a lot of unions that are going to happen this year. I'm sensing this. I, I'm seeing a lot of twin flame energy on my readings and even for my clients. So yeah, I believe a lot of you are ready to be with each other and do something grand because most of twin flames are light workers and you are here to inspire people and kind of show them the way of light, of love, what is true love. And you are going to inspire people to, you know, welcome true love in their lives, but also awaken spiritually. But it can be also soulmate, so you are going to find your counterpart. The Queen of Cups. I believe seeing so much queens and feminine energy, even though it's showing you that you are going to, you know, attract your divine counterpart. Well, I believe this is kind of telling you you need to work on yourself right now. This is what really is important. And if you are in a relationship that is toxic, it's time for you to free yourself in order for you to work on yourself because this is what is going to attract the right person in your life because the angels will believe now she is ready or he is ready to welcome, you know, their true partner you are supposed to be with, your soulmate or twin flame because if you do not heal, if you do not love yourself, if you do not feel like you are enough, you know, this is not going to tell your your angels, your guides, I am ready to welcome my soulmate or tween. Because you need to be completely loving, you need to be completely balanced in order for this relationship to work and last in time. Because I believe this is what you want. You want something that will be grounded, strong, and something that you can trust with the dog being here. And this one is about compassion, love, support, discretion, and peace. This is someone who is just in harmony. You can see it. You know, she's just incarnate this very uh, feminine energy, very loving energy, and very caring as well. You can see her being ready to give her cup. So she is, um, you know, she loves herself enough. She has her cup full in order for her to give this one to the other one that will has his cup full as well. Because I don't believe this queen is going to accept someone that will be needy or that will feel like you know, this person is lacking too much and I'm, I'm kind of needed to compense something or feel his cup because it doesn't feel right or it doesn't feel like he is enough. I believe this queen is just going to welcome someone that is ready to love and not someone that will be needy. This is for sure. I'm also seeing this queen kind of opening her shell and showing her true beauty or true essence to the person that is going to come. And also offering this bouquet to this person that is going to come again. And you could see she is just offering or receiving a bouquet from someone because she is ready to love. She is ready to accept this love. And this is only because she took the time to heal so she can be completely at ease with herself and completely at ease with, you know, true love. And be able to recognize this one in order for her to welcome this true love. And you know what is beautiful? Is that you can see this bouquet, but also roses here. And it's like you are posing these uh, roses as ends, maybe to show the way of this person to find you. Maybe you are wanting to connect with your twins or soulmate. Maybe you are working with the law of attraction or maybe sending telepathic um, messages. So these are kind of symbolic um, of you trying to manifest this one, trying to communicate um, to this one, maybe, or maybe communicate with your angels in order for them to work um, on this union. But I believe this is kind of showing this person a way to connect with you. And this is wonderful. You can also see the sea on the background and this one is very calm, very peaceful and kind of bringing change. I'm also seeing the mountains again on the background, a symbol of something that will be grounded, something that will be strong and something that will last in time. This is about growth as well. The eye priced. This one is pretty much like the eye priced test. And this is about intuition, wisdom, secret and trusting yourself. This is like showing you the way of Oh, it's beautiful. You know, I was saying that she was locked in a way with a relationship that is toxic. And now it's like showing you big keys. It's time for your freedom. It's time for you to manifest 
this and what is beautiful on these keys is that you can see the solid energies of the sun and also um the the stars so i believe you incarnate this one it's like more of the moon and the stars and so i believe they are here to kind of show you that you are going to free yourself and i think that both of you are uh, experiencing these lessons in order for you to, to free yourself and connect with each other because this one is all about manifestation you know you are having this power to manifest your divine masculine or your divine feminine and it's time for you to you know free yourself and work on yourself and welcome this key because you two are going to be the key of this union you are meant to be with each other and this is going to manifest this is for sure and this person is kind of blessing the two of you so it's like this union is for me divine and this is why it's going to happen this is why you two uh, are experiencing very painful lessons in order for you to awaken and so the two of you can free yourself rebuild yourself and become these two pillars so you know you will become your own pillar in life you will be strong you will you will completely feel like you are enough like you can be strong enough to endure everything and the two of you are going to become these two pillars so you two can unite and become this beautiful and strong couple. The Queen of Wands. <laughs> it's like we only have the queens here. Okay, but if you are a man, this can be all, you know, kings instead. But I believe, yeah, I believe this is just showing you, you need to work on yourself, you need to free yourself, you need to love yourself, and then things are going to manifest. But right now what is important is working on yourself. You know, becoming this queen, these queens even, it's like you incarnate the divine feminine because you can see all the qualities of these queens popping up and it's beautiful. This one is about passion, vibrancy, free thoughts and confident. You are going to feel confident and you are going to feel at ease with who you are. I'm seeing you with this bouquet, you know, again, and symbol of growth. You are ready to welcome your king. And I believe this will come when you will do, you know, the healing and kind of recognize your journey to be able to welcome your soulmate or twin. And with the flames on the background, this can mean, yes, you are going to attract your, your twin flame because the energy is very pure here and very strong and passionate. It's like the energy is very, very romantic in a way and you are ready to charm this one. I'm also seeing you holding the sunflower and as you may know on the sun card originally you can see sunflowers so it's like you are going to grow like the sunflowers thanks to the sun and the sun is your divine masculine so this is beautiful really this is really beautiful. The Eight of Vessels This one is about disappointment trying to escape feeling abandoned I think this is pretty much talking about the energy of the devil, so maybe in your past or maybe something you are still feeling trapped to, because I'm seeing this tied up in a way. So it's like they are, you know, kind of a prisoner to it, kind of not in their element, and this is why they are trying to escape in order for them to be free. It's like you are putting nature in some kind of balls and trapping them. They are not really welcomed as who they are. Or they are not actually in their element to be able to grow. Because if you put um, the nature in a bowl, this is going to perish in a way. And I believe this is kind of what we were talking about. This devil is someone that is kind of condensing your energy, making you change. And so you need to adapt to his own vision of what you should be and so it's disappointing you it's making you feel trapped in a way and so you feel abandoned because nobody is really saying that you are suffering but as i said you are going to reach for help or friends are going to come to you and deliver you this can be your family as well but i believe you need to reach some help from people if you feel like you are still trapped and i believe some of you are still because otherwise this card wouldn't pop up the ten of branches this one is about feeling stress and taking a break. Learn to say no when necessary and freedom, of course. Again, I think this is connected to maybe your past or something like this because you need freedom, you need to heal yourself, you need to work on yourself, you need to accept yourself and love yourself enough so you can manifest this one. I believe love is about to come but it's still a bit far because you need to work on yourself. Alright, I need to be honest with you, you really need to work on yourself. If you have someone in mind and if you wanted to confess, if you are in this group and if you feel like this energy resonates with you, it's not the right time for you. You need to take some time to heal yourself, to love yourself and to be this pillar in order for you to welcome the right person. Because, yeah, you need, you need it. 
in order for you to recognize even that this person is the right one for you, in order for you to recognize that this is your son and that you too can create this two of cups. So be the perfect couple, even marriage even. You know, if you are wanting to engage yourself with someone, this is going to come. But this is only going to come when you will free yourself from the devil and also from the past. For sure, because if you do not heal yourself, you are going to repeat the lesson and go with someone that is going to be like this. Even though in the beginning they seem to be perfect and then you are going to recognize, well, I guess this is the same type of person. So really take the time to free yourself. Do not be afraid to say no and move on from this energy. All right, I'm going to end this one with two oracle cards to complete this reading. Okay, this is perfect. True healing occurs when I give myself permission to feel whatever feeling lies below the triggers. This is wonderful. Because yes, you need to kind of look back and see what is triggering you, what is hurting you in order for you to, you know, heal yourself from this and give yourself permission to heal. Because this is what is going to help you to move on from this energy. And the last card. I always trust the direction of the universe and know I am being guided. Of course you are being guided. I mean, you can see it. It's about to come. But you just need to heal yourself. And then things are going to manifest in your life. Just trust yourself. This, I mean, you could see. There's not a king here. But the sun energy. So it's like it's going to come because you are meant to be with this person. But it's not going to come right now. Or it's, it's, going, it's going to take some time to come a little bit because you really need to work on yourself in order for you to manifest the right one for you because this will be like the key the missing part of of your life but be patient because this is what is going to come you know and this is the perfect union this is marriage this is something very strong and something that you will trust completely all right i think this is pretty much all i have to say about this one so let's move on And the second group. So for this group, I selected two cards for the overall energy. The first one is the Eight of Swords. And the second one is the Six of Wands. This is beautiful because I can already tell that you will create a new beginning. So love is about to come. And you are ready to create this new beginning. This one is about mental clarity, focus, new beginnings and the truth. I believe, yeah, you are going to look for something, a love that is going to feel like it's true to me. This is true love and this is why you are able to manifest it. You can see all this magic, you know, and light all around the sword. It's shining. So I believe this person will come to you and you will feel very attracted because you can recognize their beauty. You can recognize the light inside them. I'm also seeing the butterflies, um, you know, flying all around this one and also some lights so i believe this is kind of representative of you know the energy the universe working on this union um but also you being supported by your guides and and your angels and for the butterflies they actually represent change coming transformation and rebirth so it will feel like you know you are feeling alive again because you are able to create a new beginning with someone that will align with who you are align with true love because this is about truth and also you will transform yourself in a way or this this person this new beginning will transform you and make you grow as a better person but yeah i'm saying that something is going to manifest and the the swan can actually represent your angels working on this union working on manifesting a new beginning for you maybe you have someone in mind and you really want to be with this one and i believe this is what you kind of work on and maybe with their angels or guides and so it's able to manifest in both of your lives the Six of Wands is about victory, success, accomplishment and recognition. This is a card that is kind of a, a tap in the back. You know, it's like you have done the right thing and now it's time for you to shine. It's a moment to shine. It's a moment for you to celebrate in a way. Maybe you have met someone that feels really... I don't know, you feel magnetic to this, this person. You feel like the connection is there and you want to be with this person. Or maybe you incarnate this person and people are going to be very attracted to you and want to be with you. Maybe someone is going to confess to you. 
or maybe someone is going to come and confess because I'm seeing this person being in motion, ready to be with someone, ready to offer growth and, and, bu and bouquet. With the circle being here, for me, circles represent protection. So I believe this person is going to be very protective or want to care about you or love to cuddle you or anything like this because I believe this person is very loving and very caring. And this can be your energy as well, but I believe some of you or maybe the two of you are going to be like this. And this is maybe what you are looking for in a relationship. Someone that will make you feel comfortable and protected. Someone you can trust fully so you can actually be with this person and have this true true love because this is also a card of recognition um maybe the two of you will recognize each other and because you have been with each other on past lives i just heard it uh, so it can be a soulmate or someone from your soul family this is for sure because i believe that the two of you kind of recognize each other's energy each other's soul and this is why you are attracted to this person even though you may not really understand why but i believe it's because you two have been sharing past lives together so it's time for you to unite it's time for you to you know create this new beginning even though it's like you know yourself already in a sense and it's time for you to kind of create a successful relationship because this is about success and victory and this is a new beginning so this is wonderful and exciting the lovers oh my god so cool this one is about partnership commitment choice harmony and trust as I said, you are going to trust this person and because this person is very caring and protective, this person is going to, you know, give his love fully or her love fully, actually. And I'm seeing the solar energy and the moon here. So it's like the divine masculine with the sun is now complete thanks to the this, this moon energy, this feminine energy. I'm seeing also this doves kind of, you know, representing your love supporting your love and dove also bring peace but also are manifesting love so it's wonderful and i'm seeing all this nature all around you so this is a this is a relationship that will grow this is a relationship that will transform you in a way and you will feel complete with this person and yes i believe there is some past life energy there because this is a very beautiful and strong connection between you two and this is very loving you can see this couple you know this one is kind of supporting her and, and cuddling this one and the two of you are actually holding a bouquet well this man is holding a flower and this one is holding a crown with flowers so it's like you have found your your king and it's time for you two to unite and to love each other because because yeah you are supported i believe because i am seeing this angel or fairy and i can see the snake and the apple so it's like it's a divine union for me and uh, the serpent can represent fertility, mystery, and something that is mysterious in a way. And the apple represents, you know, the Adam and Eve. It's like the two of them, the true lovers, are able to unite now. And it's time for them to be happy. It's time for them to love each other truly. And... And yeah, I believe that it's time for you to create this loving relationship. It's time for you to unite with your true counterpart because with the sun and also the moon energy. This means the two of you are meant to be with each other. Because the divine masculine and the divine feminine are now ready to unite, this is going to create true love. The Eight of Swords. This one is about self-restriction, importance, isolation and limits. I believe some of you have been in relationships before where you felt condensed in a way. Or maybe you was not allowed to see your friends and people were kind of making you a prisoner because you can see this beautiful swan kind of wanting to get out of, of these, um, I don't know what to call them, but yeah, anyway, uh, it's like spiky things. I, I know how to say it in Portuguese and French, but otherwise it's not really helping. Anyway, it's like you are a prisoner of these. And this this one is trying to help you or to bring you support because this bird is, is shining. You can see his aura all around him. And it's like offering you um, a flower or, I don't know, some type of energy that is very beautiful. And I think your friends or someone came to you to help you and to kind of deliver you from this relationship that was condensing yourself or making you feel trapped in this one. And yeah, I believe you had support from one of your friends or one of your family. Um, and this was in order for you to, to move on from this. What is 
very terrible is that I'm seeing some cadavers of swans all around it. It's like this person was toxic not just for you but also for his ex or her hexes. And this is why I believe you kind of recognize that, whoa, this person is very toxic, I need to free myself from this one because this is really not what I was expected from this person. I was expected love and I was fooled. And it's time for you to move on, it's time for you to, you know, use these swords and cut all of these in order for you to fly away and free yourself from this. I believe one of your friends or someone is, is telling you you need to get out. I'm saying that this friend is seeing clearly who this person is. And if it's not happening yet, maybe this is a warning card for you that someone is going to, you know, put a mask on in the beginning of this relationship. And then you are going to see their true faces and going to recognize this is not the right partner for me. So it's time for you to move on, it's time for you to free yourself or maybe you have been in this phase already and, and this is why you are able to you know, start a new beginning with someone that is going to be loving and that is going to protect you. Maybe this person freeing yourself is actually this person because this person really wants to love you and, and be with you and so this one is going to kind of take you out of this relationship in order for you two to be in love with each other you know, and create a very loving relationship. This can also be in your family. Maybe you are feeling trapped or isolated in a way. So this person is going to make you feel understood and loved. The King of Pentacles. This one is about success, stable, controlled, powerful and hardworking. This is a beautiful king for me because you can see his energy as pure growth. And not just material because this is the pentacle and money flowing all, all around him and him receiving even money. But I believe this is a king that manifests a lot of a lot of light, a lot of growth because you can see all the nature growing. So it's like he is inspiring a lot of people and this is why he's able to manifest so much growth all around him. I'm also seeing the dragon here supporting him and this for me symbolizes his... Um, guides or angels because this is a very spiritual uh, creator and this is someone who is going to kind of be a guide and kind of direct this person towards light towards something that is going to be spiritual because this is someone who is kind of wanting to to manifest all the magic out of this person and because this person is kind of growing out of this tree this means that this person will be grounded you know and person in a person that will be self-sufficient for sure because he's able to nurture himself with his root in the ground and so he can grow and manifest growth and bring oxygen uh, for the universe to be complete to be alive in a way so I believe this person will kind of bring this energy to you and I believe you are going to feel very attracted about this one not because it is very powerful but you are going to recognize its, its true essence and as I said maybe this is the one that is going to free yourself because you could see his aura being strong and, and you can see here this aura is very pure and strong this might also be someone who has a green aura just saying because I'm seeing a lot of green here and in a lot of, in a lot of growth. And green auras are all about love and growth and you know being in harmony with nature, the animals and the people around you. The King of Cups. Oh my goodness. This one is supportive, wise, compassionate, courteous and in control. Yeah, this is a king that is very powerful and, you know, very grounded, very stable and in control. I'm also seeing the waves coming and supporting uh, this king in a way. And this also brings changes. I'm also seeing the dolphin on the background jumping in harmony. And this for me symbolizes that this person is going to make people, you know, joyful and happy. I'm also seeing this throne, you know, opening like a shell. So this person is going to be very open. Um, this person is not going to be, you know, very shy or maybe in the beginning and then they are going to open um, their shell because they will feel complete, uh, completely at ease with you. Um, but I'm saying that this person is in tune with his emotion and very wise, very stable, um, very grounded. And I'm saying that he is, is very powerful for sure and ready to give his cup so this won't be a, a person that is needy in love because 
all the time when I'm seeing someone offering his cup, it's because this one is full. And this is why this person is going to be completely loving with you and completely honest as well. You know, this is someone who is ready to love. And not because he needs love, but because he has love enough to give to yourself as well. And to kind of share this one. Because this is something that you too are going to have. I believe you will have your cup full and this is why this relationship will be, will be completely balanced. This king is also supported because I am seeing that on this throne you have two mermaids kind of supporting this one. These two cups and I believe these two cups kind of represent you in a way. Because the two of cups represent love, like the lover. And so, yeah, I believe your, your relationship is also going to be supported. This is what I'm seeing symbolically on this card. It's so funny because on the other group I was only seeing queens and on this one I'm just seeing kings everywhere. It's, it's wonderful. All right, so the King of Swords. This one is analytic, experienced, authoritative, and intelligent. This is someone who has a lot of power. And I could see it already before because, you know, he's very grounded, very financially stable. And this is also because he's very intelligent and ready to kind of fight for, for the person he wants in his life. At least this is what I'm saying here. This is someone who is going to give his everything to be with the right partner, the right person in his life in order for this person to experience true love and start a new beginning with this one. I mean, you, could, you can see... This person is shining, this person has a very strong aura and is very powerful. Again, as I said, I believe this person is very connected to nature because you can see the trees growing all around him. Um, and I'm also saying that, you know, he's nourishing in a way because of the water energy. The water is nourishing in order for this person to grow. And I'm saying this because I'm seeing the forest all around this person, but also the mountains on the background, a symbol of growth, symbol of, you know, someone that is grounded enough, that is going to be strong. And I believe this person is going to be like this. And that is ready to fight for you, ready to unite with you. Because this person is really wanting to be with you. The Six of Pentacles. This one is about balance, charity, generosity and success. Wonderful. I don't know if it's your energy that I am channeling or the energy that you will attract to the partner that you will be with because this is beautiful and I believe this is maybe the both of you are going to be very financially successful and this is why you are able to be giving with others and you are very... Yeah, you really care about people and you really want to make them feel good and this is why you are going to have this very giving... Um, spirit in a way. You are going to be very at ease with yourself and you are going to earn a lot of money because or maybe this is the person that I'm talking about because this, this king is very financially stable. This is also a king that is able to attract a lot of money effortlessly and ready to receive and because he is receiving he is able to give to others. This can be also the symbol that this person will bring to this relationship. This person is balanced, generous, he has a lot of love and this is why this person is ready to give and you know the pentacles can represent a lot more than just money. It can be love and can be joy, it can be happiness and can be everything you actually desire. This can be growth as well but I believe this one is going to be very stable, very structured, very knowledgeable, very emotionally in tune, very wise and yeah, if you dream about this person, this might be your perfect match. And I believe this is because you two incarnate the lovers. And I think because you have been trapped in the past, emotionally or with someone, I don't know, I think you are going to need this type of security. You know, someone that will be very protective and also very caring with you, very nourishing in a way, very stable abundantly, you know, a lot of money, also very generous as well and successful because you need balance. You know, you have been experiencing something that made you feel very little and trapped and now it's time for you to experience this beautiful energy. And I believe this person is going to to incarnate all, all this. But I believe this is also because you too share the same energy. And you are going to incarnate the king energy as well in order for you two to attract each other. And maybe this is because it's going to deliver you and inspire you to become your best version. The Five of Arrows. This one is about bullies, teeth, violence, abusive relationship, conflict, loss and defeat. We were talking about this. 
you have been in relationships that were very difficult and you felt like you was with someone who was abusive, controlling in a way and you needed to free yourself from this. If you are still in this relationship, it's time for you to move on. It's time for you to free yourself because look at what is going to come. This is someone that will be loving with you, that will be very grounded, very giving and successful, very protective as well. This won't be someone who will trap you. This is someone who's going to accept you and recognize your true essence, your true beauty, for sure. So it's time for you to free yourself from this because I'm seeing this fish kind of being uh, you know, traumatized, having a lot of wounds with all these arrows planted and, you know, kind of being pulled out of the water, so out of his element. It's like this person that you was with or still with that incarnates this very manipulative person. It's like this person was trying to transform you way too much that you felt out of your element, that you felt like you wasn't yourself anymore. So this is why you felt like suffocating, because the fish out of the water is just dying and you felt that way and I could feel it you know even on this energy so it's time for you to free yourself to welcome the king or the queen to create and manifest this union because the two of you are the lovers and I believe if you have to condense yourself with someone or you feel like you need to satisfy someone this is not the one I'm talking about because the king is someone who is very supportive and very welcoming. So he, he won't have the need to change yourself because he will be understanding and intelligent enough to recognize that who you are is precious. And there's no need to change it because this is precious. And even your flaws, he will be able to accept it because he is wise enough to understand that this is your journey, this is yourself and this is your true beauty, and this is the way you are, and if you want to change, you will do it on your own, and he won't have to change yourself because this is not his job. Maybe he can inspire your growth, this is for sure, but he won't force you to be a certain person, just for his ego or own satisfaction. The Three of Arrows Again, I think we are just talking about the same relationship, the same toxic one. And I think a lot of you are still on this one. But it's time for you to free yourself because you deserve something better. This one is about heartbreak, divorce, loss of relationship or health, depression and surgery. I mean, you can see this person being wounded again, just like the fish. And it's time for you to move on from this. It's time for you to experience something beautiful something grand because you are supposed to be with your lover be with your divine feminine or masculine it's time for you to become your own peeler because you are sitting on this one it's like you are not recognizing that you are strong enough you are not recognizing your beauty and this is why you let this person abuse you and this can be in the past or the present but if you are in this relationship I need to tell you, your angels, your guides that came during this reading, they want you to be free. They want you to experience the best love and to unite with the one that is destined to you. Because the two of you are supposed to be the lovers, to incarnate this beautiful union. And it's time for you to heal yourself, it's time for you to move on from this energy that isn't worth it. And it's okay if you feel like this is a loss. And you have put so much energy in this one and, and you did your best to make it work even though it wasn't really evolving. It's all good. You did your best. And I am proud of you. And you can be proud of yourself too. But now it's time to move on. It's time for you to fly away and become your own pillar and manifest this beautiful union. Remember, the overall energy was the Ace of Swords. You are ready to start a new beginning and this is in your end. And this is only going to come when you will feel ready to start this one. Now to end this reading, I'm going to share two oracle cards. The first one is... I am unapologetic about what I desire and trust that what I focus on will grow. Of course, you need to refocus on what you want to do, what you want to manifest, and you will manifest it and it will grow, this is for sure. So do not be sorry, do not feel sorry for yourself or for what you experience or for the person you are going to leave behind if you are still in this toxic relationship. Um, or even if it's in the past, you know, heal yourself and do not feel sorry. It's okay, you did your best. And this is all that really matters. And the last one, the universe has my back. Beautiful. And also the owl is someone who is very wise and you are supported by the moon energy, so it's giving you clarity. 
And maybe this card is also telling you in a way you need to be wise and find clarity because this is what you deserve and this is time for you to start this new beginning. The universe has your back and it's time for you to recognize you are supported and this is why you need to experience the best right now. All right, let's move on to the last group. And the last group. So I have two cards for the overall energy. The first one is the six of wands and the second one, the five of wands. This one is about victory, success, accomplishment and recognition. Wonderful, because this is already telling you, you are going to create something that is going to grow and be successful. Even though you can see that it's kind of chaotic all around this person, but this person has um, you know, so much power that this person is able to manifest growth because I'm seeing the nature growing out of his hand. And he is manifesting this because he is magical. He has his wand and all the wands all around him. It's like he is able to manifest a new atmosphere and kind of rebuild something that wasn't working. So maybe this is telling you in a way you are going to accomplish a lot of things. And it's time for you to recognize your true um, your true magic in order for you to manifest something grand and better, something that will grow and make you feel grounded. So I believe this is about love. You are going to maybe give yourself a chance to be with someone and it will feel like a victory. It will be a success because this is something you, you took action to manifest. And I'm also saying that this robe is, you know, floating with the wind and the wind brings change. Change is about to come and I believe this is something you manifested because you have so much magic. This one is about chaos, competition, ego and tension. Yes, I mean you could feel the energy all around this person already being chaotic in a way. And it's like, it's like manifesting through it. Maybe you've been experiencing a lot uh, in the past and maybe you was surrounded by people that were kind of condensing your energy or being competitive in a way because they wanted to be the best, they wanted to be seen and so they, they weren't ready to welcome who you are and to see your true magic. It's like you can see everyone fighting to to um, share their own magic and, and fight against each other just because they want to be the best. And this can be in a relationship or this can also be in your family or with your friends and it's like you are always needed to fight to be seen or to be acknowledged even and this is tiring in a way because you, you do not feel like you need to show off in order for you to exist and it's like maybe you are around people that have their ego so big that this is the only thing they can do in order for them to feel like they exist but i believe a lot of you are feeling like i don't need to do this because i am enough and you should actually feel enough and this is why you can manifest this magic because you recognize you have so much beauty and growth and power that you can manifest whatever you desire and this is something you do not want to welcome in your life because this is very ego-centered so this card is just telling you you know forget about the competition because you are better than this and you can offer so much more than this it's time for you to be at peace with who you are it's time for you to recognize that you are enough in order for you to not fall for this game of ego, for this tension that people kind of project or this competition that is completely useless because you are beautiful the way you are and if they do not see it, they are lost but you have it in yourself and you are seeing this every day so you do not need to prove anything to people around you. You know, it's like, it's useless for you. And I think this is the energy that surrounds you in a way and you are feeling tired of this and it's time for you to grow on your own. The Ten of Pentacles. This one is about family, security and prosperity. Wonderful. Yeah, I think you are maybe around people that feels like family or you want to be around people that feels like family. And you are not going to invest your time in, in people that are competitive or, you know, trying to be their best in a way and it's it's just it's just low energy because they do not trust themselves they do not recognize their own worth and so they need to kind of show off in a way that they are the best but this is not something you want to do or maybe you did it in the past and you recognize it's just a loss of energy and that you actually deserve better and it's funny because you was kind of in a chaotic 
atmosphere and now you incarnate this growth because this is all about security and prosperity you are going to manifest this one and this is because you are self-sufficient and you love yourself enough and you're ready to manifest this beauty and this growth because the nature is just growing all around you i'm also seeing the stars and the sun energy so this is something that will bring bring you clarity but as you may know the sun kind of um, you know, nourish the, the nature in order for it to grow. So, yeah, I think you are going to be inspired by someone and this can be your, your divine masculine coming and actually nourishing your growth and making you recognize your true beauty. And this is going to feel enough. You won't feel like you need to satisfy everyone around you. You won't feel like you need to seduce people to exist because you are aware of who you are. You are aware of, of, your, of your charms and aware of what you can give to others. And, you know, just being with someone that is going to recognize this beauty. So you're masculine, you're divine masculine. Or if you are a man, you're divine feminine. You know, I think this is all you care about. You just want to be recognized and loved by one person. And here on this card, it's just, you know, you're divine masculine. This is someone that is going to recognize you and, and nourish you in a way because this is going to bring you clarity. And maybe this is when you are going to recognize that you are enough because this person is just here to tell you, you know, you don't need to fight or you don't need to show off in a way because I'm seeing who you are. I'm seeing you true beauty. I'm seeing that you are shining and this is enough for me. I'm also seeing that this person is next to this dragon and the dragon for me represents kind of a spirit guide in a way. Um, this can also be your, your spirit animal for some of you. But I'm seeing that this one is just here to support you and to make you recognize your true self because the dragon is here to kind of awaken you spiritually so you can recognize your spiritual uh, power and all you have inside, the truth. And this is going to be a mysterious c companion. So maybe you are going to meet someone in a mystical way. And this is thanks to uh, this guide kind of directing you towards this, maybe the sun or the star, you know, because the star for me represents your spirit guides and the universe. So I believe you are going to be directed towards a path or towards someone that is going to make you grow as a person. And that won't be in this very ego-centered uh, relationship or, or it won't be this type of person that is very competitive and, and yeah, just wanting to show who he is and, and wanting to be the best. Because I believe this person will be very grounded in self and very self-sufficient. And this is why the two of you will be kind of the perfect match. The Hermit. I believe you will need some time alone. You know, yeah, love is in the air, it's for sure. And it's going to manifest. But I think right now you need some time alone. You need to incarnate the Hermit and be wise in a way to, you know, think about your journey, think about yourself, rebuild yourself and become who you really dream to be. In order for you to attract someone that is going to align with who you are and align with your energy because who you are going to become, the universe is going to, uh, you know, understand your energy and then manifest an energy that is going to be similar in a way. So the two of you can connect on a very deep level. The Hermit is about contemplation, privacy, solitude and insight. I think you, you will need some time alone. You will feel like you need it. And maybe this is because you have been in this atmosphere and you felt like... It's time for me to recharge, it's time for me to, to rebuild myself, it's time for me to love myself and to seek for clarity because I'm seeing this person holding this lantern, kind of seeking for the truth, seeing for, you know, maybe your true self or your true essence in order for you to incarnate this one. Again, I'm seeing this one looking to, um, looking forward for this sun energy, so your divine masculine or if you are a man, this is your divine feminine because this is a general reading. But yeah, you can see that this hermit is kind of on top, Re you know, reaching for clarity, reaching for the truth. And the circle here represents for me protection. So you are going to protect yourself and, and be around people that are only going to support your protection, support your journey and welcome you the way you are. Not people that are going to be very ego-centered or competitive in a way because this is an energy that makes you tired. You don't like to be around people like this. You don't really love to, you know, to be surrounded by people that just want to be seen or are very, very tiring. And this is why I believe you are going to take some time alone because you really need it. And this is in order for you to grow and in order for you to incarnate this beautiful person that your your future 
partner is going to welcome and truly love. Because if you work on yourself, you are going to attract someone that will be like you, that has done the inner work, that is completely healed in a way and ready to love. But yeah, I'm saying that you are reaching for clarity and all the spirals of energy for me symbolizes that, you know, things are kind of hypnotic in a way all around you or the energy is shifting in order for you to create something new. But I'm saying that change is about to come with the birds flying away. You know, this is kind of a transition for you. And in this transition, in order for you to heal from what was chaotic in a way and tiring, well, it's time for you to rebuild yourself on your own and protect yourself so you can be with someone who will protect you and be caring and loving with you. The Ten of Wands. This one is about burnder, oppression, stress and artist task. Of course. I mean, this is the energy, you could feel it. It is oppressing you, it's stressing you out and it's time for you to take some time alone to move on from this. Because I'm saying that this person is kind of, you know, holding all of this and this is pretty heavy and this is, this is like she's going to break. And if you stay in this very toxic atmosphere, this is what is going to happen. You are going to fall down on your feet and this is going to be very difficult for you. This is going to be challenging in a way and mentally challenging because you are going to feel very emotional and you are going to, you know, maybe re-christian yourself or I don't know, but this is going to destroy you in a way or very be toxic to you. I am sensing this. I am seeing that a lot of you are maybe not showing how they feel and so they are accumulating a lot of things, a lot of tasks maybe, or a lot of judgments or anything that feels very heavy on your shoulder. And it's time for you to move on from this, it's time for you to free yourself because you deserve better, you deserve to be free, you deserve to go on your own and create beauty and manifest growth all around you. And I don't believe you should actually, you know, maybe, maybe this represents um, maybe your family telling you, you should do this, you should do that, you should follow this path and so you kind of feel forced to do it and it's kind of pressuring you because you cannot grow on your own. You know, you, you, you kind of have to carry all people's wishes or opinions and judgments and it's going to make you break. It's time for you to free yourself from this, it's time for you to become your own pillar, become the hermit for a little time and, you know, reco recollect yourself and also understand from a different perspective, seek for clarity. This is pretty much it. You know, the hermit is here to be wise, to find clarity, to be self-sufficient. And in order for him or her to experience the best journey, because this hermit took the time to understand what is right, what is the inner calling, is inner light, what is the truth. So he can lead himself towards something that is going to be worth it. And this is why this card is kind of telling you, it's time for you to end this. It's time for you to move on from something that is oppressing you in a way. The Ten of Pentacles. I mean, we already had it. <laughs> so it's just confirming it. This is what you are going to manifest. And this is time for you to manifest it. But I believe this card is even more completing of the first one. So this is great. This one is about family, security and prosperity. Yes, money is going to come. You are going to build yourself a house with this person you will unite with. And you are going to create your family. And I believe this is also a divine union because I'm seeing this magic, you know, kind of emanating from uh, this person's finger. And I believe this is a wise person. Maybe you are having a person in your family or around you that is very wise and kind of telling you what you need to do. And maybe this is because he has been sent from your angels and guides to, to direct you towards the right partner in order for you to create this divine union. You know, maybe this is a twin flame or a soulmate, I don't know. But I believe that this is a union that is going to be meaningful. And the two of you are going to find abundance, this is for sure. And with the dog being here, this symbolizes that this is going to be a union that is going to be very, very faithful. You are going to need someone that you, that you can trust. I mean, you can see that love is coming. This is for sure. And maybe you need some time to rebuild yourself from maybe a past relationship or any atmosphere that felt like, you know, you need to free yourself and rebuild yourself and grow on your own and then you are going to manifest this union. A family, you know, prosperity 
all around you. You are going to have your owls with them or with her. Or this can be an apartment. But you're cocoon with this person. This is for sure. And this is meant to happen. So just be patient if you don't see it coming. Because I believe right now you need to free yourself from things. Move on from people that are toxic. And rebuild yourself on your own and find clarity and love. And of course, love within yourself. The Empress. This one is about sensation, nurture, creation and beauty. This is also for some of you, maybe you are going to be pregnant or you want to have a baby with this one and you could see it. There is a baby here. For some of you, not for everybody, do not freak out. For some of you, you, you are going to create your family and want to build a family with this person. So this is going to be someone you will feel very connected to. And if this person is not yet in in your life and I don't believe it is because you took the time to be alone this is going to be someone that you will feel very attracted to and instantly I'm also seeing the motion you know on on the sleeves and this will be announced change you know it's in motion it's coming to you and this is going to bring you growth with the nature all around you and this is wonderful with the water on the background this is for me an energy that is clearing away all all the past all the toxic emotions, all the things that were kind of negative in your life. It's clearing away in order for you to be the empress. And so you can manifest the right one for you. This is for sure. And I think you are also very protective in a way. I was talking about protection. You know, you are creating your own protection. And you may protect yourself against people that are not, you know, on the same vibration, on the same energy. People that are toxic, you kind of run away from these because you don't want to tune in this energy anymore it's time for you to clear from this energy that was toxic that was oppressing in a way and so you are going to be lucky and i'm saying this because i'm seeing this rabbit and rabbit are for me the symbol of luck so luck is going to come and you are lucky and you are also supported by your guides because i'm seeing all the stars here and of course the universe and this is why you are going to create this magic all around you and the magic is already happening because things are in motion this is wonderful this is all about growth clearance this is about being self-sufficient and for some of you you are going to be pregnant Probably this year, I don't know, or maybe you want to be, or you will want to be, when you will be with the right partner. The Two of Swords. This one is about compromise, putting off decision, conflict, avoidance, and stillmate. Yeah, I believe you are maybe conflicted to make a decision, or maybe you are offered two, two people in your life, or two directions to take and you don't know really which one is best and it's time for you to kind of take the time alone to think about it find clarity find the best option and direct yourself towards this one because it's time for you to grow it's time for you to be grounded like the mountain it's time for you to feel complete in a way and also we have the water energy all around you so this is about clearance this is about helping you to free yourself from what is actually um, very toxic and negative and kind of making you stopped in a way because I believe you are static on this card and you don't know which way to go you don't know which 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 person to choose maybe maybe you have two person in mind and you are kind of defensive because you don't know if it's worth it and this is why maybe you do not want to see maybe your heart is calling for someone but your reason your mind is kind of stopping you in a way and maybe it's it's very wise to do it because you really need to take some time to think about it and find you know the truth the answers because the clarity can be about it you are going to need to find answers in order for you to to take the right decision and so you won't regret it because this is what you want this is what you dream of and you want to unite with someone that is going to bring you prosperity abundance and also happiness and love you want to be protected and this is why you protect yourself in a way the eight of stones this one is about mastering your craft making a body of work education and engagement i think because this is talking about education it's kind of telling you you need to take some time to educate yourself about love maybe read books about love in order for you to um, to learn and, and grow into a better person. Um, I honestly suggest a book that is called The Mastery of Love by Don Miguel Ruiz because this book is just going to help you to find self-love in order for you to 
be with someone and create a very profound and true relationship, true love. Because if you master love, you are going to master your relationship. It's like you are going to incarnate this love in order for you to, you know, diffuse this one in, in your relationship and be able to recognize and love your, your partner fully. So yeah, this is just a suggestion if you are wanting to work on yourself, to love yourself, in order for you to even manifest more love in your relationship, if you are already with someone. But yeah, I'm just saying this because it kind of popped in my head, so I believe this is relevant for you. And because this is also about engagement, I am seeing all these stones kind of being connected in a way. So I believe you are connected to people, and this is probably your soul family, and your soul mates. I believe you are going to make a decision between, you know, which one is the best. Maybe you are uh, around people, a lot of people wanting to be with you, but you do not know which one is best. So really take the time to um, only welcome the one that is right for you. Because this card is also about engagement. So you need to engage yourself only when this is true love. Only when this is going to bring you this type of energy. Abundance, prosperity, happiness and also love because this is what you deserve. This one is a curious kid, talkative, mentally restless, gossip, spies, prying eyes, seek truth. You need to seek for truth because I believe the atmosphere you was in or you are still in is kind of torturing, torturing you in a way. It's making you in pain and so you cannot really manifest the magic that you have inside. It's like you need to remove this arrow in order for you to manifest this magic, in order for you to manifest this clarity in your life and find clarity because it's time for you to free yourself. It's time for you to reach for something that is going to be meaningful for you. So I think this is pretty much telling you, you need to seek for the truth. You need to seek for true love. And because you are supported by your guides and angels with the stars here, I believe this is going to kind of push you in a way to follow someone. Or maybe you have someone in mind and you feel like, oh, this is someone I really want to be with because I believe this is someone that is going to make me feel good and feel protected. And this is someone I want to build my family with. Maybe you are attracted about someone like this or maybe you are going to because this is something that will come. But I believe this group, yeah, love is in the air, this is for sure and this is going to come. But right now you need healing. You need to cut the cord with this toxic atmosphere and move on from all this task and things that are precious in a way. It's time for you to move on and, and free yourself because, because this is time for you to seek for the truth. It's time for you to experience true love. Alright, to end this eating, I'm going to share two oracle cards. And the first one is, When I lean on the faith of the universe, peace becomes real. Of course, you need to be faithful and trust the universe, because peace is, is about to come, love is about to come as well. And you can see that these two owls, that are for me very wise, and they are very loving and caring with each other. This is what is going to manifest. So just trust the universe, be peaceful. Have faith in it and things are just going to be magical. And the last one. In every moment, the universe is conspiring to bring me towards right-minded thinking and the energy of love. Isn't it beautiful? Beautiful. All right. This is time to end this reading. I hope you will like this one. I think this is pushing you to be more independent, to be stronger and to seek for light because this is when you are going to find clarity enough to bring love in, in your life. But love is coming. Do not be desperate. And it's time for you to free yourself from what is stopping you to actually manifest this one. Take good care of your crystal souls. If you like this video, please put a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And also let me know down below what you think about this reading. If it was accurate to your situation. Take good care of your crystal souls. I will see you very soon.